and it's caused angry outcries from parents and teachers. Today in Austin, that outcry turned into a protest by thousands. Reporter Melanie Lawson takes us there. Was unable to be here. They started showing up hours before the Board of Education was due to meet, many after having driven hundreds of miles. Despite the chilly rain, thousands of parents and private school leaders huddled with their children. It's all right to kill children in the womb, but wrong to teach your children at home. Does that make sense? Inside, the lucky ones jammed into the main auditorium, where no less than 71 different speakers had signed up, including 19 legislators. They're upset about a proposal by the Board of Education that would force small, private, parochial, and home schools to meet certain standards, among them becoming accredited, or meeting health, safety, and curriculum guidelines, and taking national tests. For many, the issue is religion. For others, it's a question of choice. Merely because we have dared to use a different route to guide our children to their full potential, the TEI has labeled us irresponsible parents and advised this board that we are in need of supervision. I challenge you to show me in your statute where you have any authority whatsoever over non-public schools. Don't do that. Don't do that. Those who couldn't get inside squeezed into the hallways, monitoring the marathon four-hour session on the loudspeaker. Some didn't even make it that far. They were forced to sit outside. But when asked if it was worth it to come so far for so little, their answer was swift and sure. Well, I was taught since I was young that uh, the only way you can make something count is by your vote. And I consider this a vote right here. It's a vote of the public. Any final decision on this issue is at least three months away, since the board will have to vote no less than three separate times to approve it. But in the meantime, parents and private school leaders from all over the state say they will continue to rally against the measure becoming law. I'm Melanie Lawson, reporting for 24 Action News.